Good morning, everyone. We're heading out here into the shop today to work on the wife's Jeep. Got a 2019 Jeep uh, JL Wrangler. Gonna be mounting up some uh, flagpole mounts. We're gonna be heading down to uh, Sand Hollow Resort in March. Go down to watch the off-road games and do some off-roading ourselves. And need to make uh, sure we're legal. So we are putting a flag mount on here and we're gonna show you how we are doing that. We woke up to a balmy 34 degrees this morning and about six inches of fresh snow. Look out here. You can see our light dusting the snow out here. About uh, 10 inches of snow on the hood of that truck right there. So we're gonna <clears throat> flip this Jeep around and get it in here so it's next to the heater while we are working on it. walk you around the Jeep a little bit. This is uh, this is my wife's 2019 Jeep Wrangler JL. When we got it, it was uh, pretty much stock. There was nothing done to it at all. So what we've done is we've gone in and put a Rough Country uh, three inch suspension lift in it. We've got uh, the Rough Country shocks on it. We've put some uh, 35, 12, 50 tires on this thing. We got a negative 19 offset, so they do stick the tires out outside of the, the body a little bit. Uh, some states, they do not uh, allow that. I think even Utah does not allow that to happen. If we get pulled over, we, we could get a ticket for that. The d bumper we put on this Jeep was a hooky off-road or hooky road bumper. We liked it because it has really clean lines and it comes up underneath the fenders really well and makes it look really nice. Put a, a recovery winch on this thing. We ended up going with a, an X-Bull 13,500 pound winch. It's got the fiber rope on it. I bought this winch because of that particular fair lead. That fair lead right there actually has a magnetic mount on it that pops out and magnets hold that thing in there and locks that thing right back into place. You can see the purple that's on the Jeep. It's kind of my wife's favorite color. So we've got that on there. We picked her up some D-rings, uh, clevis hooks, or I guess we just call them D-rings. They're all nice and purple. They look pretty nice. Probably keep with that theme. Seems we've got some off-road lights underneath that on, that on that hooky road bumper. I'm gonna take it down to the car wash and get this thing all spiffed back up again. And obviously on a, on all your Jeeps, get rid of that uh, that antenna that's on there. Put a little nice short antenna on there. That thing seems to bang around, smack the side of your vehicle and gets torn off in the car wash if you take it through a car wash. So our flag mount that we purchased for the Jeep. It holds a large diameter flag and it looks like it's got a CB mount. Actually, I'm gonna probably be using this for my flag mount. And then I'll be using this to a bigger pole to hold a GoPro 360. Like some of us need to go get some food they're starving so please check out some of my other videos on mr modified uh, we've got several videos to come so you guys have a wonderful night have a wonderful day whatever all right garage doors working have a good one